You know, the corporate information factory has been around for about 20 years, and it certainly has gone through changes because we've had great innovations, new technologies, new methods of doing things, new components even in the corporate information factory. But one of the things that has that has dramatically changed the, the overall architecture is, is this push toward operational BI, the ability to make intraday decisions off fresher, more current information that we have to bring into this environment. So we have all kinds of things that we're looking at now. Can we get the data faster into the data warehouse? Can we trickle feed the, the information in in little mini batches, little mini ETL batches and that sort of thing? But one of the other areas that, that is really good for operational BI is to go outside of the corporate information factory. At some point, the data warehouse can only spin so fast. And if you really want real-time data, real-time access to real-time data, the data warehouse is, is not going to be able to do that. So what we've been able to do through data virtualization is to bring in operational data, real-time data, and combine it with our historical analytics and that sort of thing so that we can compare and contrast and look at what's going on right now in operations, but be able to see the historical trend, the historical information combined together in a virtual fashion. We're not physically pulling it together we're virtually pulling it together and that's been a great boon for operational BI and operational decision making. The second thing that's happened, most people thought the corporate information factory had to be physically implemented the way it was drawn. You had a physical data warehouse, you had physical data marts that were scattered and you know dependent on the data in the data warehouse, but you had to physically move the data from the warehouse into these different data marts. No more. Now we have the ability to actually create virtual data marts, which is, which is marvelous. I can make the data warehouse, I can take the data warehouse, do a, sem layer, a semantic layer over it, make it look like some kind of star schema data mart, not all the data, but just the data that I need for that particular analytic capability, and never move the data at all. With the performance in the databases, with the ability to virtualize this information, it makes the creation and the enhancement of these data data marts so much faster and so much easier than we've ever been able to do before. So no more do we have to physicalize everything. We can actually virtualize our data marts and that's a terrific boon for the overall BI environment. And then the third one, a very interesting, one of the things that's very difficult in business intelligence, of course, is getting the, the real requirements of the business users. We create all kinds of little physical prototypes and we put them in front of the business users and we say, is that right? Is that right? And they'll look at them and they'll play with them. They'll go, no, that's not right. So we got to tear it down, rebuild it again, put it in front of the business users, and off we go. There's this continual cycle of creating physical prototypes. Well, again, something that's happened with this idea of virtualization is I don't have to create a physical prototype. I can actually mock up one, make it virtual, put it in front of my, uh, my business community, my information workers, have them tweak it, change it. We can change it on the fly instead of having to you know, tear it down, rebuild it, tear it down, rebuild it. I can actually change it on the fly and they can give me really good instant feedback. Once I've got that prototype pretty much nailed down, then I can choose, do I want to leave it as a virtual one or do I want to physicalize it and actually make a data mart out of it? So we've got these three marvelous things where virtualization comes in, operational BI, virtual data marts, and the last one, which is really good, the ability to create a virtual prototype.